If you enjoy the content, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button and checking out my socials. FaZe Clan may no longer be the dominant force they once were last year, but FaZe in 2023 has an undefeated 6-man win streak on Inferno, with the highest win rate on the CT side. Defending the A site is a highly mechanical skilled Estonian with one of the most diverse ways of protecting A. Hey, I'm Smirk here, and today I want to look at Rops and how he defaults Pit on the CT side of Inferno, so let's begin. Do you want to get and sell CSGO skins for a better value compared to other sites? Let me check. Yes. Market.csgo is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace with over 90,000 daily trades. If you don't like the look of this current design, you can click try new design in the top right for a newer look, which I think looks pretty clean. To get started, just sign in through Steam and start browsing for the skin of your dreams. They have filters on the left to help you search and specifically one that lets you look for skins that are much cheaper than Steam. If I click on a skin, I have a bunch of options I can use. However, one of the useful options is the ability to let you know when a skin reaches a price you like or automatically buy it. You can also view the same skin but with different stickers and wear on the right, like this cool design. Market CS Go lets you sell your skins and withdraw. Just click on your profile, go to sell items and select the items you want to put onto the market and you can deposit or withdraw money by clicking the screen button. If you're interested, you can check out the link below and thanks Market CSGO for the sponsor. Now, what does Rops do at the start of the round? Well, occasionally he will do some starting util or perhaps starting apps. Let's begin with his starting util. Rops starting util consistently changes throughout each round. However, there's two pieces of util that he will commonly do on his CT side. The first being this balcony nade. This balcony nade will land on any T players wanting to get into bedroom at the start of the round. To do this HE, put your back against this barrel, put your crosshair in line with this antenna, and make sure your crosshair is just above the wire. When ready, take a few steps and jump throw. And once drops throws this HE, it's his choice what he wants to do. He could play in pit, he can go apps and throw another piece of util, or maybe he's playing balcony. But this nade can be a pretty nice way to find early chip damage. An alternative piece of util Rops may throw is a Molotov. This Molotov will also land on balcony, delaying the T side from getting into apps. And in this round, once he's thrown his molly, he's going to play in holes. In round 8 against IHC, we're going to see the same Molotov coming out, but after jump throwing the molly, he's going to make his way inside a bedroom and throw this HE. And this HE can be a pretty good way in finding any T players underneath the balcony, waiting for the molly. After the HE, Twist is going to give him a really good supportive flash from mid, where he gets the opening. But you do need to be aware of any AWPers holding from ramp. Our last set piece for his starting util is this. Rops will occasionally throw a Molotov and a HE for Mexi. In this round, he's just going to do his normal Molotov, then line this grenade up. He'll put his crosshair towards the bottom left of this brick, hold right, and left click throw as soon as he's going to hit the light. And this nade will find some really good damage onto a leech. And once again against Liquid, we're going to see the exact same thing, and it's only going to chip his HE a little bit. But now it puts a leech to the state where one bullet to the head from the A4 or A1 will kill him. Now, there are some rounds where Rops might not do his starting util and beginning apps. Or maybe he does his starting util and starting apps. It varies. Of course, one of the most default things you can do as a pit player is mod off holes, which is something that everyone knows how to do. The basic premise of this is that you mod off around 141, preventing the T side from going up the stairs so early. But in this round, Rops is not going to hold holes and will play inside of pit. The default Molotov and holes is something that Rops rarely does, maybe once a game. Something else he might do instead is a smoke in holes. By throwing the smoke, it can discourage the T's from taking full apps control. Meanwhile, Rops can find and look at any gaps in the smoke, using it as a one-way.
And against Liquid, we can see Rops is going to do this run for and smoke, using it to a similar extent. Looking for gaps, but will eventually fall off after getting the two man man advantage. Something cheeky you could do is this one way smoke in Boiler. In this round, Rops is going to line himself up with the corner of this wall, and Twist will get into the corner of Boiler. With this, Rops can crouch, aim at Twist's thigh, and left click throw. Twist will crouch, which will allow Rops to get above him and see above the smoke into holes. But unfortunately though, he isn't going to get anything. Alternatively, Rops may do his starting util and play instead of Boiler. With the current angle that Rops has taken, he has more to a balcony delaying the T side from going into bedroom. Because of this, he can mainly focus at stairs for a little bit, ready for the T's heads to pop up. In this round, they're going to do exactly that, but because the angle isn't that deep, IHC are able to run through holes without being contested by Rops. At this point, he gets the comms that IHC are popping off holes, so he's just going to have a look around apps, but unfortunately doesn't get any kills. In round 12, we can see Rops will do something similar. He'll get inside of holes, check stairs for a little bit, and then mainly focus on bedroom. However, he isn't going to stay there for long, as he will eventually leave, likely because he got the opening kill on the B side of the map. And just like we saw at the start of the video, Rops will try and go for an over top mid peak, but he's going to do it dry without a flashbang, which I really don't like. The last thing I want to show you in apps is a setup from Rops and Brokey. Typically, once a game, Rops and Brokey will do this setup. Rops will walk through holes and place himself on this position in front of the radiator. In this position, he's ready to catch any T's walking out of bedroom, meanwhile Brokey's watching his stairs. And as we can see, Blitz just walks out of apps without paying any attention to Rops' positioning. A super good off angle. Now, when watching Rops' POV, I've noticed he has so many ways to aggress inside of apps. Typically at the start of the round, so let's take a look at a few of those. In this round, Rops is going to run straight to holes and he will get a supportive flash from Twist inside of Boiler. This flash will land behind Rops, allowing him to peek out and catch any blind tees off guard. But in this round, he doesn't get anything. And against Team Liquid, we can see Rops will go for the same flash, but Naf gets him on the spray. Alternatively, Rops may do this play that I saw from Furia. In this play, Rops is going to run straight across top mid with a G2 smoke. Afterwards, he's going to look down and run past bedroom. By him looking down across bedroom and not jump spot in, it makes it difficult for the T side to spot him. Afterwards, he's going to run straight forward out of apps, hunting and looking for any victims. <laughs> because of IHC's default, it allows Rops to punish it, where he will eventually find a fight onto Blitz. Afterwards, he's going to open the door and check Mexi to see if anyone will try to help Blitz, but he will soon fall off back to apps after being very careful that someone's not close by. And it's honestly fine to fall off without getting any kills because A, he did a lot of damage, and B, he disrupted the T's default for so long it burns a lot of time off their clock. In round 15, Rops is going to go for a similar play but with an AWP. In this round, he's not going to full push out but instead hold it. He's just going to hold the angle for a very long time, while Twist is in Boiler holding his bedroom. Eventually, Rops will get the opening kill and immediately fall off. Now, on Inferno, it's really common for the CT side to play Triple B, just so they can get that banana control. But as a result, the A side is left a bit weaker. So what does Rops do when it's 2A? Well, he might just do his default util like in round 7, where he's just going to throw the maxi nades. But there are a few key rounds I want to highlight when it's a 2A. In this round, FaZe Clan are going to tip Banana very loudly and prominently. Meanwhile, there's only two towards A. As a result, Rops is going to jiggle with a Molotov on top mid, and will soon throw it with a smoke afterwards. Rops is doing this because if IHC knows it's triple B, they may try to punish this by taking top mid quickly. 
but it's difficult to take top mid when there's a Molotov and a smog down. And shortly after, that's what IHC is going to do. Robs is going to hear the Molotov and flashbangs coming in. To not get trapped and isolated on short, he will do some quick thinking and go and set a boiler. At this point, he can try and hide and set a boiler and catch the T's off guard, which he does in this round. Something alternatively you could do in a 2A is this. In this round, Robs is going to smoke off deep mid by using this lineup. And this smoke should make it a bit awkward when Liquid try to default on ramp. And after shift jump throw in, he will self boost on top of flowers. Now I will say self boosting is a bit hard, so if you do struggle to do it, just get a teammate to help you. Once Robs is boosted, he's just going to be looking towards boiler. After quite a while, Liquid decides to take top mid. But unfortunately in this round, Nitro is going to jump peek, which baits drops for a spray, and well, it doesn't turn out good for him. I think he just got outplayed in this round. Now what are some of the angles Rops will take inside a pit? Well, let's take a look. When Rops plays towards pit, this is his favourite position to play. The main focus of this angle is to catch the T's heads as they try to peek out of apps. Meanwhile, the wall on the right will block any flashbangs above sight. But you do need to be aware that any flashbangs coming from apps will affect you. And against IHC, Rops is going to play this angle pretty much the entire round. But when there's presence on B with 20 seconds left and the bomb is there, notice how the majority of his teammates are rotating to A apart from him. As a pit player, you are the heart and soul of the A bomb site. If you rotate, you compromise the entire site. So you will always be the last person to rotate, and you will rotate when the bomb is definitely at B. Against Rooster, we can see Rops is going to play the same angle. However, around the 40 second mark, Rooster are going to make a heavy presence on top mid and try and take control. With so little time left on the clock, Rops is going to bounce a flashbang off the door that becomes a pop flash for short, allowing him to peek out of short and fight any blind tees. Unfortunately, he doesn't find anything, but because the time is so low, he's going to preemptively use his smoke, forcing the tees to execute onto A while Rops has a smoke down. Whenever Rops uses a defensive smoke, he generally tries to throw it between the pillar and the shadow. And the purpose of this smoke is that it denies the majority of the Molotovs at pit, and it also gives him a lot of one ways to play with. You can see he will throw the smoke and play on top of the bike, where he has a nice little off angle towards short. At this point, he can move around the bike, picking his angles and try to isolate fights. But in this round, Rooster are not going to air. A different angle you may see Rops play is on top of the bike. Rops playing on top of the bike likes to use it to isolate apps. You can see in this round he's currently crouched on the bikes looking towards apps, but if he wants to peek out, he can stand up and look towards short, where he can try to tap the heads of the T's coming out of short. In this round he's going to be playing this angle for a very long time. Liquid will try to execute onto the A bomb site, but because Rops doesn't have a smoke, he has to go for the fights, or else they're just going to overwhelm him. And in this round, he does a really good job in isolating his fights. First getting Naf, and then later getting Orsi. In round 4 against Liquid, Rops will play the bike angle again, but instead of just watching towards apps, he's going to jiggle short. He doesn't need to pay attention to apps because Brokey's already in there, so he can just bop up and down on the bike, getting ready to spot any T's as they come up. In this round, they're going to be doing it for a very long time, but when Liquid go for a top mid take, Brokey comes out of apps to try and pay attention to short. To allow Brokey to pay attention on short with his AWP, Rops will do him a favour and smoke off apps. Meanwhile, he can spot towards Lunk. Now, what are some of the scenarios you may experience inside a pit? Let's take a look at Rops' scenarios. Occasionally on phase of CT side, they're usually stacking towards B late in the round. As a result, the long side of the map is open. When the T side threatens to execute onto A using long, it's pretty common for Ops to try and isolate an angle and try and pay attention onto long. But in this round, Liquid fake it and go to B. Another good example is this. In this round, Fears are playing double pit, one towards big and one towards small, since the long side is open. 
But unfortunately again, Liquid head over towards B, and Rops is the last guy to rotate. Even though they're not playing 2A in this round, I still want to showcase this setup. In this round, they're playing a similar setup, Twist towards Mini, Rops towards Big, and Rooster execute onto the A site via Long. Rops once again will use his smoke as a way to defend Pit, and will use it to try and isolate angles on top of the smoke, using it as a one-way. During this execute, we can see Rops will first take the angle on Apps, making sure he's not visible to Short, and I want to quickly talk about an angle that Rops doesn't really use in this round or in general, but I think it's pretty good. You can play an angle like this and spot the T's crossing into the site, catching them as they're running. But in a second, Rops is going to peek out and try and challenge Short, needing to take the fights, else he's just going to get overwhelmed. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite get it, but when he gets challenged from Apps, he quickly moves away from Short and isolates the Apps angle, scoring a kill onto ASAP. But unfortunately, one of Rooster's Molotovs did make it into Pit and does start burning him. As a result, he's forced away from the bike, but he can still play around his smoke. At this point, he could be a complete nuisance and stay inside of Pit, forcing Rooster to clear him out. But because Twist is fighting from Mini Pit, Rops is just going to swing out and die. From Twist POV, he's going to throw his own one-way smoke, which will help him challenge long and fight short. In this round, he is holding long but does get flashed off the angle, but it doesn't really matter as he does get the kill onto ADK and later doubles up on the site. Another scenario you could use to help deal with long control is this. Rops is defaulting a pit and Carrigan dies on long. To try and hold on to long, Rops throws his pit smoke and makes the T's think that he's in there. Meanwhile, he's actually a mini ready to fight players coming out of long. At this point, he has to pick his fights between Short and Balcony, and well, he was half right because Naf jumps out of Balcony into Mini Pit where he gets the kill. And also because he stayed alive for so long inside Mini Pit, it allows his teammate in Rin to come in to collect the final kill. Now lastly, it's important to change things up, and at times, Rops will do this by playing Balcony. So let's take a look at a few of the angles Rops will play on Balcony. In round 6, Rops has just thrown a HE towards Bedroom and will make his way onto Balcony, setting himself up into this angle. From this angle, Rops can challenge the T's running up on Short and also catch him as he run out of Balcony. But soon after, he will move back and play this one, where his attention is mostly on Balcony, ready to catch anyone running out. And if needed, he can always readjust onto Short if he does spot someone. At this point though, he's just going to be staying towards Balcony, occasionally playing anti-flash. An alternative angle you could play is this one, where you're sitting on the balcony railings, placing your crosshair on the stairs. Generally from this position, you should be able to catch one and fall off, as the T-side has so many angles to clear in sight and needs to be wary of Pit. And we're going to see this angle come into use. Nitro dies on short, and Naf gets caught from behind. The last angle I want to cover is this one. I will say this angle is pretty risky, as it can be quite easy to clear you as you're stood in the open, but with an MP9 up close, you could do some serious damage. But this is a nice reaction from FaZe. Liquid are starting to take top mid around the 40 second mark, so to retake map control and see if they can get a kill, Brokey will flash Rops into holes, but he doesn't find anyone. After watching quite a few of Rops' demos, I've noticed he's quite a pace changer. Rops is capable of changing his style mid-game. In some rounds he will throw a nade and go pit, where in other rounds he will get flashed into stairs. Two contrast differences that are capable of catching T's off guard. He's stationary. When Rops is in a position, he isn't changing his angles or moving around the site. He's typically sat on an angle, watching one entrance, and may jiggle something from time to time. Lastly, he's diverse. Rops' openers are so different. Almost every round he will do something different, if that's his util, his aggression, or his pathing. You need a way to spice up your outside takes on the T side of Nuke. Check out this video I did about Liquid, where during the mid round, they're able to get down secret and then quickly take full outside control. 
Apart from that, thanks for watching. Cheers, Market CSGO for the sponsor. See ya in a bit.